Teespring Beginner's Guide. Now, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, including how Teespring works, how much money you can make, and how you can start making money on Teespring as soon as today. So, if you are interested in making money online and making money with Teespring, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so to do this, you want to load up Teespring right here. And as we can see, this is the main website you will get brought to when you first load up Teespring. Now, Teespring works off a business model called Print On Demand. And if you don't know what Print On Demand is, let me go ahead and explain. And if we come down here to what is Print On Demand, Print On Demand is the fulfillment model that allows sellers to design graphics for products. These products are often apparel such as t-shirts, hoodies, and can range from all of these other different things. Okay, so now you understand what Print On Demand actually is, you can see that there is a bunch of products that we can create with this Print On Demand model. You can see we have all of these different items of clothing, including shirts, jumpers, vests, a bunch of other things right here, guys. And these are designs that other people have been uploading to Teespring. And for example, if we just clicked into this shirt right here and went ahead to buy this, the person who uploaded this design right here is going to make a percentage of the sale. Now, usually guys, the average percentage on sale is around about 20%. So if I buy this for 20 pounds, this person right here who uploaded this design is going to get four pounds for every t-shirt that sells. So that is awesome right there and that is basically how you can actually make money on Teespring and how this entire business model works. So what we need to do is we first of all want to sign up for an account right here and once you have signed up we can then go ahead and start creating designs. So if we click into this we can see that there is a bunch of different products to choose from. Now we can sort this at the top maybe we want digital products right here like ebooks, recipes, uh, we can go for home and decor and then of course the main things are t-shirts and things like this. So I'm just going to go guys for this t-shirt right here the classic tee. And then you can see right here, we can then go ahead and add images, add texts and create this design. Now you might be wondering guys, I saw some pretty cool designs back here earlier on Teespring. If we just look at some of these designs right here, some of them are absolutely awesome and some of them look very cool. And you might be wondering how you can actually create these for yourself. And this is actually relatively easy. Now the first thing to keep in mind guys, when you're coming up with design ideas, is you need a solid niche and a solid basis for your design that people are actually going to buy. For example, if you want to create a cat design, that might be pretty cool, cats are cool, right? And there's a lot of people looking for cats. But at the same time, there might be already too many people creating cat designs, and that means that your t-shirt doesn't really have a chance of selling. Now, there is a way to get around this and find niches that are selling every single time, and this is to use a tool called Merch Informer. And the reason that I really like this tool is because it has everything you need packed into one small and convenient tool. Now, this is paid, but generously, Merch Informer have given me a link, and this will allow my subscribers to get a three-day free trial. Now, if you would like to check this out, you can use my link down in the description. It doesn't tie you down, you can use it for the three days. And then if you decide at the end of it, you don't want it anymore, you can cancel it with no charge whatsoever. Now, moving on to why it is so vital to use Merch Informer. Now, Merch Informer is really awesome. And honestly, I haven't even used all of these tools yet. I only use the, the main tool that I'm going to show you how to use. And that is the competition checker. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and type in a keyword in here. Um, let's just go for ferret, okay? People seem to like ferret. Maybe some people have a pet ferret. I don't know, let's just search it, okay? And as you can see here, this comes up with a D. So what this tells me is that ferrets are probably not a good idea because we are ideally looking for a C and above. So C to A is very good. This is what we will use. Anything below a C, we are not going to create designs on because there is just not enough interest. So let's go for pasta this time, see if pasta is any better. And as you can see right here, we got a C for pasta. So once again, not the best, but when I get a score of C, this is where I would go ahead and start looking deeper into that niche and start creating some designs. So let's rock with pasta. Now, for any of you guys who are thinking about Merchant Informer, I wouldn't say it's required, but it's the best tool that I have used 
and I would definitely have not made anywhere near the amount of money that I have without this tool. Okay, so once we have the idea for the niche that we want to go ahead and create, we can now go ahead and create the design. Now, once again, guys, this is not super complicated. You don't need any fancy equipment to do this. All you need to do is come over to a website called Canva. Now, Canva is a paid tool. However, Canva have been kind enough to allow me to give you a link, which will give you a 30 day free trial. So if you go down and use the link in the description of this video, you will be able to claim a completely free 30 day free trial with Canva. So you can go ahead and use Canva. You will be able to create your designs. And within 30 days, that should be a much more than safe amount of time to start getting your first sales. So now this is loaded up guys. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to replicate this design right here. Do not copy these designs. Just take inspiration from them. Make them a little bit different. And once I have done that guys, I will be back in a second. And then as you can see guys, I have the design right here. You can see that I took inspiration from this design. However, I did not just straight up copy this as these designs are quite different. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this. So we just upload the image we just created and look at that guys. This image is now on the t-shirt right here. We can go ahead and upload this and we can now sell this design on Teespring. Now on top of putting the design on, we can also select multiple product colors. So I like to select all of these to give people the biggest choice. Then we can click done. And we can also choose a price right here. So you can see that if we price this at $17.99, we get $4.65 in profit. You can also go ahead guys and turn this up to whatever you like. You can see that if we sell this for $7,000, we get $7,000 profit. But of course, nobody is going to buy that. So let's go back with this $17, whoopsie, $17.99 just like that and then for the EU we will need to put this up a little bit let's try 21 and that looks okay so you can see guys that we have created this design we have added all these colors and we have also set a price so all we need to do now guys is go through add this to other items that you would like to put your design on for example we have bags right here we can upload this to t-shirts and hoodies we can upload this to kids and baby clothing, basically anything you like. And once you have added all of these, we can then go through, title this, describe this, add a title, so we would just call this pizza party. We can also add a description right here. The URL looks fine. And then guys, all we need to do is click publish listing and boom, just like this, that is going to get sent to the Teespring store. And now when people come along on Teespring, they are looking for different t-shirts, different items of clothing. My design that I just uploaded right here is going to show up and people are actually going to be able to buy this. So that is very cool right there. And that is the main concept of Teespring. That is how you can create, upload designs and everything like that. However, guys, let me show you a few other things that you need to know. So if we just go over to the dashboard right here, you can see this is the home area, guys, where you can see the amount of products people have ordered, the amount of profit you have made, and the amount that is still to be paid to your account. Down here, we can also connect your Teespring account to various forms of social media. So you can connect this to YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, Linktree, Discord, and a bunch of other things right here. So that is the home area. We can then take a deeper dive into the analytics and products you have sold on this screen right here. As it says, this shows you the orders people have made, how many things you have sold, and how much profit you have made in the past month. Now, this doesn't have to be the past month, guys. This is just the pre-selected amount of time. So we can actually go back and set this to like the entire year or whatever, just like this, update. And once again, you will be able to see that this now updates to reflect the time period you just added in. We can then go to listings right here. This is where you are going to see everything you have uploaded to Teespring. So you can see I've uploaded quite a few things right here. And you can also go in guys, edit the details of these, edit the design, add settings, duplicate, or just completely delete these from your store. We can then go to stores. And you can see I currently only have one store. This is called Crypto Night Tees. When people actually click onto one of my designs and go to my store, this is what they are going to be greeted with. We can see that it looks pretty cool right here. It's mainly cryptocurrency themed. So that is a very, very cool store right there. And you can see that even the cover image all the way down to all of these designs right here fits that store. And it is a very, very niche store. 
We can then go to payouts and this is where it's going to show your current payout amount. Mine is none, but to update your payment information, you can go to settings right here. We can then see your purchases right here. We can go and look at payment methods, add them and all of that good stuff. Tools and services is now here. We can go to promotions. I wouldn't really recommend this area guys. I mean, the main things are up here. And then once again, we just come to the integrations, which we have already spoken about. So guys, that is a complete beginner's tutorial on how you can use Teespring. Now, if you learned something from this video or you found it valuable in any way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, take it easy.